are the pros and cons of living in Las Vegas? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking that little button down below and even that bell for notifications. When you think of Las Vegas, you probably think of rolling the dice, playing the slot machines, and even walking the strip with a drink in hand. Locals know that this is a far cry from everything Las Vegas has to offer. Beyond the slot machines, hotels, and neon lights, Las Vegas has the same amenities as any other major city. With that said, living in Las Vegas also holds some drawbacks. Before you pack your bags and move to Sin City, consider these cons alongside the many pros. Here are the top five cons for living in Las Vegas. Number one, hot summers. The summer months here can be very brutal. I'm not gonna lie. June, July, August months with over 100 degrees, sometimes even double digits. Ugh. But it's the price you pay to live in Vegas. I've been in Vegas for over 25 years and I still can't stand the summers here. I cannot get used to it. However, if you do have a home with a pool, it makes the summer so much more bearable. Number two, gambling. Las Vegas is known for its vices. The city offers 24 seven access to gambling, drinking, and other activities that can consume a person's lifestyle. More than a few people have found their lives spiraling out of control in Sin City. Number three, difficulty finding work. Las Vegas is not a city you should move to without having a job already lined up. While the city is great for finding work in the hospitality industry, for those with more established careers, it may be difficulty finding work. Hospitality jobs in Las Vegas tend to pay lower in wages to start and competition for them is pretty fierce. Number four, education. Nevada has ranked worst in the nation and a highly regarded report card for state education systems. Our schools are overcrowded with students and not enough teachers. Number five, you will need a car. It's about a 40 minute drive from one end of the city to the other, so you will definitely need a car to get around here. And public transit is nothing to write home about. Luckily, the city is easy to familiarize yourself with. So we went over the top five cons for living in Las Vegas. Now here is my favorite, the top five pros for living in Las Vegas. Number one, the weather. Las Vegas has more than 300 days of sunshine year round with an average annual temperature of 80 degrees. Plus another thing, we have very little humidity. Although three months out of the year during the summer, it is extremely hot. The other nine months, it is absolutely gorgeous here and it's unbeatable. It's unbeatable. You can't compare to what other cities are going through right now with the weather and the minus zero degrees. I would take this any day. Number two, no state income tax. If you love saving money, then you'll love moving to Las Vegas because Nevada has no state income tax. Luckily, the gaming revenue helps out Las Vegas locals in that regard. With the money you save on taxes, you'll be able to consider buying a home. Number three, outdoor recreational activities. You'll find world-class skiing in Nevada. Plus, there are abundant opportunities for mountain biking, hiking, rock climbing, camping, boating, and so much more activities that you can do here in Southern Nevada. Number four, there's always something to do. Las Vegas is truly a city that never sleeps. You can bet even off the strip, you'll find something to do at all hours of the day. When a large portion of the population work during off hours, businesses serve their clientele at different times. So lots of places stay open later here, if not 24 seven. Number five, master plan communities. Scattered throughout the Las Vegas Valley are numerous master plan communities for those that cherish a suburban lifestyle. These areas are distinguished by a tremendous number of amenities and conveniences they offer local residents. Because of their sheer size, master plan communities 
can incorporate extensive recreational amenities like lakes, golf courses, expansive parks with bike paths, and jogging trails. Las Vegas has more going for it than against it as a place to live, prosper, and retire. Whether or not you take advantage of the Las Vegas Strip, you will still be able to find lots of fun things to do that does not involve the Strip at all. As mentioned earlier, I have lived in Las Vegas for over 25 years, and I don't see myself living anywhere else. In my opinion, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, but you'll just have to find out for yourself. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.